OMG, what? Follow E. OMG, who? Follow E. OMG, yeah, follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Follow E. What's up? OMG, follow E. Gang, 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 gang. What's going on out there in YouTube? Where the day, baby? Well, I'm going to tell y'all what's going on over here today. Today, we are going to suit up a good barbecue sauce. I'm going to make my barbecue sauce my way. So basically, what I'm going to do is try to make this a very, very short video, as short as I can make it, because I already have my pot on the stove already over here. But before I do that, I want to just say I would like to thank the mothers and the fathers, aunties, grandparents, anybody that's taking care of kids, that putting their time in with kids, mentoring kids, any of that. I would just like to tell you that I admire you, I thank you, and I appreciate you for all that you do okay baby I appreciate you so we gonna get started and I'm gonna tell you what the base of my sauce gonna consist of is vinegar and what I'm making I'm making a lot of barbecue sauce because this gonna last me out the barbecue season and any other time I'm doing baked barbecue chicken or anything this is gonna last me so I'm doing it big so y'all get to see this so by me using two of these craft originals I'm using two craft originals and I'm using one like big sweet baby ray and i start adding this because i like the flavor of it but at the end this is probably about the only one that i will pick up and maybe a craft mesquite that i would just pick up and use without souping up so let's just get started with this now i will tell you with these big ones to use a cup and a half of vinegar per these these big ones since i have two and then maybe a half a cup for the baby ray but i don't measure around here i don't Ooh. oh this is hot this got hot i'm sorry y'all this did get a little hot so i'm measuring mine by eye we're gonna let the vinegar come to a boil before we do anything else i did try to rush it but it didn't just happen so we're gonna let this come to a boil. Let me tell you the other things you're going to need. You're going to need cayenne pepper for a cake. But I like to actually put a little more of a kick in when it's for me. But when it's for other people, I try my best not to overheat it. So I try to make it comfortable. Okay. You're going to also need some mustard. We're going to need some mustard. We're going to finish this one. You're going to need some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. I guess I said that right. Worcestershire sauce. You're going to need that. And I use French's mustard. And you're going to need some hot sauce. I'm going to start off with a half a bottle. I have a half a bottle. Maybe a little under a half a bottle. But I have another one if I have to use some more hot sauce. And the key to this is you're going to have to consistently taste this to get the consistency that you want. It's, it's, it's especially the consistency that I want. You're going to need onion powder and garlic powder. You're definitely going to need that. And you're going to need, I want some brown sugar, sugar. Oh, my throat is bad. Sugar. I'm going a different octave at that point because I'm still draining. So, okay, forget that part. That note because it was bad. <laughs> and we're going to need some lemons so right here i have a total of four lemons cut in half but we're gonna see if we're gonna need all four of them for right now because the lemon really cuts the twanginess well it actually give you the twang that you really need from the vinegar to kind of cut the vinegar down just a little bit so we're gonna do this we're gonna see what's gonna happen okay we got a little smoke going on over here so while we got the smoke going on I'm going to bring y'all over here so y'all can see everything that I pour into this and how I'm doing this. And y'all can look into the pot and see what's going on because y'all don't need to pay attention to me. Pay attention to the food. And you're going to need some ketchup. I'm sorry, I forgot to show y'all that. Some ketchup, okay? So that's definitely what we're going to need to spew this barbecue sauce up the way I like it to be. Okay? Let me give me a little knife here and open up my barbecue sauce. And 
and I love this craft original too. It is really, really good as well. Don't get it twisted. It's a good, it's a good sauce, and I love it as my base sauce, okay? So we want to pour that into that vinegar. And then if I don't put enough vinegar in here, trust me, we're going to just add some more. That's all. We'll just add some more. But I believe by my eyes, I put enough in here. And trust me, I'm going to put some in here to get the rest of this out of here a little bit. To get the rest of my sauce out of here. So it will not go to waste. So, so far we look good with the ratio of the vinegar. By my eye. Okay. Okay. Let's get the pouring, 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 pouring. There we go. We're still looking good on the ratio. Look at that vinegar still at the top, even though we done added two big container for a barbecue sauce, okay? Now we're going to do Miss Sweet Baby Ray. I've been doing this for a while, so I can eye mine pretty well. And even if you don't, you put too much vinegar, that's what the ketchup is for, okay? But you want this vinegar in here like this because it's going to thin out the thickness of it. But we're still going to have the thickness of it. It's not going to be a watery sauce. I promise you, it will not be. Okay? Tap it to get it out, get as much out. And then we're going to add a little vinegar in here and shake that up anyway, so it's not going to make a difference. Let me get a good spoon that I want to use. What spoon do I want to use? I guess we'll use this one. So now we want to kind of mix that vinegar and this all up together as it get hot. Okay. You got to loosen it. You got to wait until it get hot where it loosens up and, and dissolve all that vinegar. But we're not through pouring stuff in here where it's going to get hot and do all of that. We got to wait till it get hot. Okay. Okay, see, you don't have that rim of that vinegar anymore. I think I did perfect with that. Absolutely perfect. Iron that really, really well. Y'all excuse me when I leave my spoon in here because I'm just going to add, go ahead and add my mustard. I'm trying to finish this one off. Don't worry. Might as well get rid of it if you're doing this. I got another one. Add that mustard. And you don't use a whole when I say about a half. It just depends on how much you're making. I'm making enough for the year. So I won't have to worry about making no more. And if I have to add more to the consistency, we will. We will. Okay. It still got a thick texture. It still got all of that going on for it, okay? I don't want to burn it, so you make sure you either, you start off on the high heat with the vinegar, and then you add the rest. And I'm going to tell y'all, this is a good, to make this sauce, it should take you a good 30 minutes, really. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add in our, our, um, our garlic powder this is yeah this is the garlic powder so I'm just gonna cover a little bit around the top like that because of the mouth that I'm making and we're gonna add our onion do the same amount around the top and then we're gonna add in the cayenne pepper now this is this amount is up to you and how much you want to add but I'm going to add that much, well, maybe a little bit. Because the brown sugar will kind of, you know, help do what it needs to do. Move this stuff out the way that I've already used. 
and let's get that all integrated in here okay let's get all that in here get it turned around i tell y'all I know this might look different to y'all, but I promise y'all, this is delicious. This is like, oh my gosh, this is good. Now, we're going to let the seasoning and the um, vinegar and the barbecue sauce kind of come up a little bit where it is boiling a little before we add anything else okay i want to do that first so i'm gonna let this get hot first and i'm gonna mix it up a little bit more stir it up a little bit more so it can get down to the bottom we want to get down to the bottom of things okay y'all and trust me this is gonna mix up real good especially when it get hot but i'm gonna tell you the lemon is gonna be last because the lemon is going to determine everything how much more we need to add how much this how much that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to let this get hot and once it get hot i'll be back to y'all okay so i'll see y'all in a minute maybe in a flash okay y'all i'm back now so anyway what we did was nothing different everything that i showed you i've done and like i said you have to do a lot to your taste so anyway i done got it hot enough now and stirred in really really well um everything that we put in as far as the barbecue sauce the um cayenne pepper the garlic powder the onion powder all that and the mustard and everything so now we at the point where we're going to add our hot sauce which i'm going to use this whole half a bottle of hot sauce whole half okay I don't think we're going to need any more. I think that's going to be a great measurement to this. But if we do, guess what? We got it. Get all the way down at the bottom down here on a medium heat because we don't want to burn it at the bottom. We really, really don't. Okay, that's a good whisk. All right, and now we're going to add our Worcestershire sauce. And I would say with the amount that I have, I would say do a half a bottle of Worcestershire sauce because of the amount that we have. And a couple of more drops. There we go. Let's whisk that in. Ooh, we at the top. I'm going to have a lot of sauce. But I got some folks coming over. So we're going to need this, some of this barbecue sauce, and then I'm going to put the rest of it for me. Okay. At this point, I'm going to taste this a little bit to see if I need to add anything that I have already added in here. See if it's perfect or if it's not. I've been making this sauce for some year, a couple of years now, about four years now. Mmm. That's perfect. Put that in trash. I don't want to double dip. That's perfect. I mean, that is perfect. I don't have to add anything else. Okay. As far as going backing, any backsies. Now, I'm going to add my ketchup, and I'm not going to say a half. I'm just going to say, let's just do a cup, about a cup of ketchup for my amount that I have. So, everybody done got their feel in here, honey. And the last, if this turned out good, well, I don't have to add nothing else into this. Let me get my spoon ready. 
then we'll be adding the lemons and then we will put this on simmer and it will simmer with the juice and the lemon swimming in here for about 20 minutes. Give me a new spoon. Let's see. Mmm. Okay. Okay. That's perfect. Put that in the trash. Now, we're going to squeeze our lemon juice in here. And we're going to hold our hand over here so we don't have any, um, any seeds to go in. And we're going to drop that in now. Let me move my trash can a little closer. I'm going to be going all across the floor, even though I got to mop it when we get through fixing this. And I'm making my barbecue sauce because I'm going to do baked beans for y'all as well. So y'all will be looking out for that behind the barbecue sauce because I use the barbecue sauce in my baked beans. So let's get this all done. We're going to start off with a good five lemons. I do have a squeezer, but I'd rather do it this way because with my hand, I just feel like I just like it better that way. We get all this juice in here. Okay. Dip dab on them seeds. So that's four. I think I'm gonna do six because how big this pot is. I barely made it with this pot. And I started to use one. Let's see, one, two, four. Let's see how it tastes with the five. Get that down in there. And I promise y'all, how you got up in there, honey? Out of all the things you had to do, instead of getting down there, you got all up in there trying to make me make a mess. Let's do the hurricane season down up in here. Uh oh, dang. Sorry about that, y'all. I did kind of. Scooting around that uh, um, lemon a little too fast and it went over. Give me something to clean up. That's all it is. Something to clean up. Okay. We haven't had our brown sugar, so we need to add our brown sugar next while we don't add some of the lemon in. So let me get my little brown sugar out. But I'm going to have to taste this so I know how much I think I need to add in there. All right. Give me another spoon since I don't whip or peel that up in there. Let me see. The thing about it is to taste it. You got to taste it. Mmm, mm, mm, mm. We would not need a lot of brown sugar at all. So I'm going to get like a scoop. Can y'all believe it? Today is Friday. I've been at work all day. So we're going to do about one, two. Three big scoops like that. And this is light brown sugar. And you can use dark brown sugar. It doesn't matter. One or the other. I'm going to need an, uh, some more lemon juice. But that's okay. That's not an issue. As far as the rest of the taste that I'm looking for, I got it. I'm going to be careful this time around these lemons. I don't want it sweet, but a little sweet is not bad. But overly sweet, uh-uh. I don't want my um my um barbecue sauce to be sweet. Not overly sweet. That you don't taste everything else that I put in. So let me get another spoon. And let's try this again. Mmm.
I'll say about two more scoops of sugar. Two nice big scoops. And then we're going to finish it off with the lemon. And we're going to let this simmer. Like I said, we're going to let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Under simmer. Not up under high heat. None of that. And let it finish itself off. And I washed my lemons off. I did all that before I put y'all on here. Because guess what? Once this cool down, we're going to take the pulp from here and just squeeze it on out of there. Because it'll be ready. It's going to be loose. It's going to basically loosen up in there anyway. Okay, so we used all the lemons, which I figured I was going to do anyway, because I love the lemon. The lemon really just give it everything when you do it this way. Okay. All right. Let's twist and shout. Twist and shout. Not too hard. And we're not worried about this bubbling over because it's not. And guess what? You save the containers that you put it in because once it comes down from the heat and everything, you just pour it right back in there. I already cleaned them. When I cut you off, I already cleaned them out. So all you do, get a scoop. I got a scoop that I could just take it and pour it right on in there. You drop the scoop in and use the, um, what you call it? And then, hey, there you go. There you go. I got the taste and everything. So I'm finna taste this last time. Get my last little spoon. In fact, I'm just gonna use this scoop, other end of the scoop that I did the brown sugar on and see what it tastes like now. Not over it. Hmm. I don't need to add anything. Not one thing. That is really good. That is really, 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 really good. So, y'all, I'm going to get that, that extra lighting out the way. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this simmer on simmer for 20 minutes. And I'll be back for y'all to see the finishing product. Okay, y'all. I'm back for the last time to show y'all the finishing touches for the barbecue sauce. So, I want to show y'all how it look when it's done. You're going to get this bubbly, bubbly, bubbly look. Let me show you. Y'all forgive my background. I got so much going on I need to finish up before I go to bed tonight. But there you go. That's how it's supposed to look. And what you're going to do is you're going to let it cool down. And it's going to be fantastic. I promise you it's going to be the best of the best. Look at that. Look how the lemons is in there. And all you do is once it cool down, you take the lemon and you squeeze the lemon. Since I'm not going to show y'all that part because it's too hot to do it. So I'm just showing you just take it and squeeze all the juice out of it and put it in the sauce. And it'll just give it that extra twang. Okay. So let me taste it before y'all go and make sure that it's perfect enough for me in my eyesight. Because... <laughs> I've been to add some more stuff into it if I had to. So, let me make sure. As soon as it calmed down and I squeeze that lemon, the rest of that juice from that lemon into them, that, that's going to be delicious, y'all. <laughs> it's all here. Delicious. Let me turn this on. But anyway... I want y'all to come back. I want y'all to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, tell people about me. 
If y'all like what y'all see, give me some ideas. I got one person that um, wants me to do something. I give them they shout outs when I do um, a viewer's choice. I got another viewer's choice to do. So y'all will see that very, very soon. So I want y'all to come back following OMG. What? Follow E. <laughs> OMG. Who? Follow E. OMG. Yeah. Follow E. Who that be? Hell, that be me. Peace.